Can you name all 50 states within two minutes? Yes, next question. All right. Uh, imagine you're in the UK. Somebody asks you to give them a tinkle on the blower. What do you do? Uh, okay, I don't know what that is, but if you do that, you're probably gonna see 25 years to life in prison. What is it? Shri, are you here? What is a tinkle on the blower? Um, give someone a call on the phone. Give someone a call. <laughs> It's called a tinkle on the blower? Have you said that here in the States? Like at work, you're just like, give me a tinkle on the blower. If you had to cook Thanksgiving dinner all by yourself with no help from anyone, would you be able to do it? Uh, no, absolutely not. I would probably be able to make a turkey sandwich and then uh, toaster strudel for dessert. Be good. I hate turkey, by the way. I think turkey's overrated, that's my hot take. You're snapping on that? Yeah. <laughs> We're doing the snaps. Is this really that divisive? I just think it's, if I, if I told you guys right here, right now, hey guys, guess what? Um, I got turkey for the entire audience today. <laughs> no, you wouldn't say that. You would not say that. No, 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 no. Don't do that weird snaps. You, did you feel exactly what you guys did as soon as I said I got turkey for the entire audience? You viscerally were like, what? <laughs> it makes no sense. We've been brainwashed to believe that turkey is the go-to meat. It's dry, it's, it's whack. It requires, yes, it requires a side piece. Like, it's the LeBron, but it needs a Kyrie to get the job done. It's like, oh, but with gravy, it'll be able, not, I'm talking about as a solo dish. We should replace turkey with chicken because everybody loves the fixins. Nobody's denying the value of the fixins. I say we just replace the main thing and then we're, our whole starting lineup is good top to bottom. But the fact that Turkey's the franchise player is fucking stupid. <laughs> Sir, would you agree with that? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving's great though. I really like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's amazing. All right, are you gonna do any Black Friday shopping this year? Um, I actually really love going back home for Thanksgiving and then going to Black Friday and running into people from high school. That's my favorite thing to do. Because there's nothing to do in Sacramento. Like, the mall is the only place. You just go to the mall, you hang out outside of H&M, and then, you know what I mean? And you're like, whoa, you've changed. You guys like Black Friday? I love Black Friday. No, eh? Do you guys love Cyber Monday? What? No, there's no, like, Cyber Monday's like any day. Mine, I mean, sure, it has deals, but you're, physically, you're not doing anything different. You're just like, all right, I'll get that Amazon. Um, I used to work uh, uh, Black Fridays because you get time and a half on Black Fridays. So when I was at Office Max, I would do Black Friday. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's not the funny part of the story. Why are you guys hating on Office Max? Let me live. I used to sell printers at Office Max, sell printer paper. Nobody would come in. It was great. <laughs> Nobody's going to Black Friday at Office Max. There would be like a couple of weirdos that were like, can I have one of the five iPads that you have? I know you have five. And he'd be like, all right, take it. There were some hardcore heads. We'd have like one Motorola Razor phone. I'm like, no one's gonna come in and get this. And at 6.01 a.m. someone comes in, they're like, where's the Razor phone? <laughs> uh, what would the Patriot Act Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon look like? <laughs> all right. In my mind, this would be the funniest if like we took over the like the Macy's parade, but it was all just autocrats. So you'd see like Snoopy, but then you'd see MBS, Duterte, <laughs> Modi. Like it's just like freaking people out. It's these giant floating autocrats. What is your favorite Christmas movie? What is Nudgemy's favorite Christmas movie? <laughs> um I like uh my Christmas rotation would be like Home Alone, right? One and two, we gotta do one and two. Don't do three, don't bother with three. Uh, Love Actually, that's a good one, right? Watch that with wifey, right? Love Actually's fun. Uh, my dad loves Home Alone too, that's a classic. With the holiday season approaching, do you and Bina have any unique traditions you wanna establish early with your daughter? You know what, growing up, my parents, we didn't have a Christmas tree in the house, but Bina's family, they have a Christmas tree. And I love Christmas. Christmas is fucking great. You, you guys celebrated Christmas growing up? Yeah, yeah it's awesome. 
I'm super envious of it. Because being at home, being Muslim, you're just at home. And then your friends can go out. You're just literally at home. And then your friends can come out and play. Right? You're like, you're like, hey, can you come out? And they're like, no. <laughs> I'm with my family. What are you doing? And I'm like, we're just like staring at each other. <laughs> Everything's closed. You can't do anything. Yeah, there's basketball all day long. But yeah, you're just sitting there. You want, you know, interaction. Don't perpetuate the stereotype that we just want to sit in the living room and... Really? Yeah, so what's, are you going to change the, are you going to change the cycle now? She had an outfit? No, she had a fit. Oh, the way you said that, you're like, she had a fit. She was dressed up as Santa. She changed. You know how, like, when we get older, our parents, like, chill out? She didn't like it? The Christmas tree was the tipping point? Damn. Dude, I love Christmas. It's the best. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a Christmas tree. I don't care. We're going to do a Christmas tree. Pure corporate. I don't care. <laughs> As someone who can relate to often having their name mispronounced, I have a challenge for you. <laughs> How would you pronounce the name st? <laughs> okay, it's, it's S-S-S-S-T. <laughs> okay, this, this, this question comes from... <laughs> it's not from... It's from Keturah. Keturah. Kitara? Yeah. Q-I-T-U-R-A-H. Kitara, got it. When you had st next to Kitara, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, part of me was like, are you cis? <laughs> wait, wait, you know the answer, right? St okay, so I'm gonna guess, here we go. St <laughs> okay. <laughs> st <laughs> Sat. Ryan. <laughs> okay, what is it? Forest. Forest? Yeah. Forest. What? what? Forest. Oh, that's not a thing. No. No, that's mad. Like, no, that's fucked up. Katara, I thought this was like a cultural moment where you were like, there's an ancient Brazilian civilization. That they're the cysts. Four est. Did you see that coming? Four est. Dude, I got set up bad. All right, this is a good one. Would you rather burn your collection of Jordans or have no beard for life? Keep the Jordans and shave? No, I gotta shave. No, you know what? Because I saw Donald Trump Jr. He's fucking up the beard. You gotta shave. You gotta shave. We gotta shave. Dude, have you seen him with the beard? It's, it, it made me go like, dude, I gotta go clean shave. I mean, it would be like, it would be Patriot Act hosted by a 13-year-old. I look, I look like a child. All right, we'll do one last one, not off the cards. Just anyone have a question? All right, let me think. Okay, right, what's up? What? <laughs> All right, what's up, what's up? I'm not gonna do that. That's like, you, what do I like most about myself? I'm so glad you're asking as I stand on this stage. Come on, this is a trap, this is a trap. Okay, what's up? Have you ever hit your head on this light coming out? <laughs> oh. That's so close. Yeah, I get pretty close every time. I, I do the, like, the little duck, but I've never done it. Now you're gonna make me feel very self-conscious though. <laughs>